Hey guys, welcome back to Million Dollar Showgirl. This is our vegan boa Christmas tut or Christmas vegan boa tutorial. That was more of a mouthful than I anticipated. I'm so sorry. And to make it even more Christmassy, I have found some giant ornaments for a giant boa. Do they make me look cool? Maybe? Yeah. I think they make me look hot. your end ornaments of choice. I got these at Michael's. I'm gonna see if I can find some online so you can purchase this when at any time of the year that you're looking to make these because I'm pretty sure that Michael's doesn't even sell them after like November because that's when other holidays like Easter need to be in store for some reason. I have no idea. How about those eggs? All right, then you're gonna need a full bolt or more of organza. I prefer doing a bolt for this. Uh, a bolt makes basically a six foot-ish standard size boa. I'm also adding in some red tulle to give it an extra oomph and a little more Christmas feel rather than just a plain white boa. And then we are also going to be using this. So there's different types of thread that you can be using for this. Some people use monofilament, which you can get at Michael's in the jewelry section, not the sewing section. It's a little bit harder to work with if you're a beginner, if you're not sure, like, Kind of what you're doing. This is actually, I get Joann's, it is an industrial upholstery thread. It's quite thick and what I do is I double it up. So I put it through the, the needle and I run it all the way through and I tie both ends at the end. So it's one long string but it's double so it's extra strong. Next you're going to be needing these little eyelets. I'm going to, I can't show them from this distance so I'm going to put a picture right here and a little clip right here. And these will attach to this and the boa, so you can attach and detach. So if you make a solid color boa and you want to make Christmas, you can add these. If you want to make it not Christmas, you can add a skull. And if you want a skull tutorial, um, I'm happy to put ones up on how to make a cool glitter skull. So once we have the four strips that we've cut, which is the diagram, we're going to go right here. I basically flip them over and sew them into tubes. I used a serger for this because organza sometimes like starts to unravel. Uh, you can just use your regular sewing machine, I don't know, hot glue, whatever strikes your fancy at this point. And so you have a bunch of tubes. <laughs> and we're going to lay all the tubes together, one on top of each other, so it's one large flat tube, and we are going to spiral sew all the way through. I'm going to do a diagram right here. And that is how that's going. And then by the end, you're gonna pull it through, like you're gathering a skirt, and it's gonna end up in a nice big spiral boa. Here's a cool tip for, since you have so much fabric, it can be daunting to figure out how to like line it up properly and all that jazz. What I do is since you have four long strips, is grab one, and you know how you wrap pull, like power cords? You just start, okay, this is attached to a cat. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. What are you doing? And we're just gonna wrap it in one giant loop. And then we're gonna, what I do is I have a little table here and I line them up and I just pull from each of them, like kind of how a serger is, where you have four threads coming. And then it keeps it neat, tidy, and as you're going, you can start flattening out the fabric and making sure it's all lined up. And that works really well to make sure that you're keeping all of your fabric like organized, not like strung through your house and down the stairs, which I may have done a couple times for fun. Alright guys, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this boa tutorial. Let me know what other tutorials you want me to do. Uh, if you need any like, clarification on things, I know I miss stuff sometimes. Don't forget to subscribe so you're notified. I also have an Instagram and I linked my personal Instagram, which is my performer Instagram. I professionally perform here in Vegas and all over the world. So go check that out if you want to see me swallow some large objects, which is totally not what you think it is. Also, don't forget I have a website. I sell my own brand of rhinestones. They're created for costuming, so they're only large quantities for a low price and they are check quality. So they're a higher end, like, listen to them. So go check them out and I will see you next time.